Hi there, and welcome to Ask an RV Tech. Today's episode, we're talking about how to reduce the chances of getting a rodent infestation. As adorable as they might look, they do create a lot of problems for your motorhome or your trailer. The most noticeable problem we have with rodents though, is the mouse droppings and urine they put on the floor. Those droppings can uh, make you seriously ill or even cause death. They do so by spreading disease, like the bubonic plague, salmonellosis, hantavirus, and rat bite fever. So, how do we keep these creatures away from our motorhome or our trailer? To begin with, what's most important is to keep your RV clean. Remove all the food items. Also, when in storage, uh, remove all the water from your plumbing. That means you empty your water heater, your tanks, and uh, your lines. To empty your lines, what you do is you open your low point drains that are located under your RV and uh, run your pump uh, till the, the lines are completely empty. The next thing you want to do is block all possible entry points. You can do so by using spray foam and steel wool. When your RV is in storage, I strongly recommend that uh, you block the exhaust and the intake of your furnace and your water heater. You can use steel wool or a grill to uh, do so. Those make uh, great nesting grounds for the rodents. Just make sure that uh, you remember to remove these obstructions from your water heater and your furnace before you go back camping. It is usually not recommended to keep a grill on your furnace for it uh, reduces the airflow. But there's areas uh, where you have uh, problems like mud daubers and uh, those mud daubers have a tendency of uh, building a nest inside the furnace. So uh, there you have to use the less of all evils and just keep the grill on. We need to look at the source of the issue too, which is the location of your campground or your storage facility. If uh, that area is known to have a lot of rodents, then uh, you might not want to park there. Talking about rodents, we also want to make sure that we include squirrels. They can cause a nuisance by uh, storing all the food inside your RV. And of course, the other example of rodents would be rats. Now, there's a lot of people that heard the common rumors of uh, what they use for mouse deterrent. The most common uh, rumor I hear is uh, using dryer sheets. So half the people I talked to about it, they told me that uh, the dryer sheets work just great. And uh, the other half of the people I talked to about it, they told me that they used it, but uh, it just made a great nesting material for the rodents. So the second rumor I talked to the people about is the sonic deterrent. And again, half the people think they work great and the other half uh, think they don't work at all. And the third rumor would be the specific brand of a soap bar. And the result for the soap bar is pretty much the same. So 50% think that the soap bars work great and the other 50% they think it doesn't work at all. So once the rodents made it inside, uh, the best method to get rid of them would be either get a, an exterminator or uh, get some mouse traps. I do encourage to use the humane type of mouse traps. I like to remind you to make sure you always wear a mask when you clean your RV after a rodent infestation. Now that you're done with the cleanup, you need to inspect your RV for any damages that uh, the rodents could have caused on you. You want to pay special attention to your water lines because uh, the rodents are attracted to them since that would be uh, their source of uh, just quenching their thirst. You also want to check out uh, all your electrical wiring. The rodents are uh, chewing on the wires in order to sharpen their teeth, but uh, the manufacturers now also use more environmentally friendly uh, insulation which is soy based 
and uh, the rodents seem to be attracted to them. And uh, you want to inspect the uh, furnace exhaust and intake uh, to make sure that there's no nesting material inside it. And finally, you also want to check the ducting too, since uh, they can uh, chew through the ducting and damage it. So in conclusion, mice uh, can crawl through the tightest holes, so that makes it hard to uh, keep them out, and it also makes it hard to get rid of them. But uh, following the steps mentioned on this video uh, gives you a fighting chance. But uh, most important is to take care of your health, so always wear a mask the moment you see some droppings and you have to clean your unit. So I hope that uh, you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just contact me through this YouTube site. Have a nice day.